and welcome to another episode of Crush Crush. I'm Brang Stabity, the stabbiest stab that ever stabbied. And the last time we almost maxed out Miss Desiree. Was so close. We got her up to girlfriend, but we need more money. Much more money. Ooh. We did get love maxed out. How about here? Not yet. Still only 50%. Cool. Story checks out, honestly. <laughs> he does magic to the economy. We're, we're still talking about Nwabadike Morgan from Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Okay, so yeah, that is um, pretty much as far as we can go for now. With Ms. Desiree, let's move on to Nightingale. Dr. Wood welcomes you to his lab. Looking haggard. See that verb? It's delicious. Do something about it. From the table, a harpy looks down on you with overflowing malice. This is what Dr. Wood wants you to do something about? Important looking things in Dr. Wood's lab. Crushed! Uh. Okay. Anyways, I see Desdemona an ideal waifu. No, far from it. Making a gesture with your hands, you try to tell her to shoot. She makes direct eye contact and starts kicking stuff and flapping around. She flicks her wings and razor sharp feathers fly towards you. They pin you to the wall. Impressive, but also terrifying. But yeah, Desdemona, definitely worst waifu. Is that a Pokeball? Oh yes, it was a Pokeball. Poke! <laughs> Foul play! Tickling her from behind means she can't defend herself. Sorry. Aww. She stretches up, trying to seem as tall as possible. Wings held out wide, she flaps at you as you approach. Aww. She squawks, and again. And louder, and longer, and shriller, and quicker! There's no end in sight! <laughs> Chairs were not meant for tails, especially not feathered ones. She's indignant about it, but we'll have to sit backwards like a badass until you get her a stool. She appears to be cute. Uh, if you're talking about the demon, no, that is a lie. Demons are not cute. If you're talking about the harpy girl, yes, she is cute. Even if she's very angry, she has some emotional issues. Pee -pee -pee? Her head starts to weave side to side. You assume it's a sign of aggression and take a step back. Looks like you were right. She stops. Yeah, and why is talking about the demon lady? We know do demon lady. Sorry, Mr. Enwise, no miss demon lady here. There we go. We hit her from the screen, so no more commenting about her from you. All right, she stops. <laughs> Lol, think about her voice actor making those noises. Oh yes, voicing them is funny. NY says, curses foiled again. <laughs> All right, let's give you some veggies. When you place the gift down in front of her, she knocks it over with her foot and hops away. Oh no! I have some apples! Same thing. Fruit basket! When you approach her, she starts screaming. Ugh. Nothing you can do will make her stop. Is this your life now? Nightingale's expression reads, Up to no good. You'd better pay close attention to her. Poke! You overhear her making a little coo sound. She looks embarrassed and fluffs up her feather feathers. Ah, she's already acting cute and we're still only at nuisance level. Sorry. <laughs> Better keep the TV off for now. After watching an expose on Mothman, Nightingale is convinced she can be far more terrifying. She can be a far more terrifying and successful cryptid. Notice all the gifts you give her are food, yes. 
Uh, she has very different uh, food options or gift options. We have shell, we have framed photo, which is normal, but then all of these are foods, although fruit basket is the original. Earrings are original, but that all got replaced by veggies, apple, tuna can, charcuterie. Drink, flowers, cake, seeds, that's very different. Worm sandwich, also different. Uh, sunglasses, present, drum, I think those are different as well. Vacuum, collar, black lipstick, wilted bouquet, definitely different. Just Bewitched Jam and Mystic Slippers are still there. Okay, I have a tuna can. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. When you place the gift down in front of her, she knocks it over with her foot and hops away. Ah, still having those issues. Pew pew. Beep beep beep. <laughs> You threaten to throw a green pig plushie at her if she doesn't stop being so angry. But that's not how this game works, and she knows you know that. <laughs> I guess she is an angry bird! Uh, I didn't realize that that was the reference at first. Since olden times, it's been thought that angels had feathered bird wings and demons had leathery bat wings. If people thought bats were the more malicious species, they clearly never met a harpy. I could just listen to all the beep 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 pew pia noises. Beep, beep, beep. Pew, pia. <laughs> okay, have a charcuterie. Beep, beep, beep. It's an age old, age old tactic, but it's worth a shot. Every time you look at her, you call her. Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird. Tweet tweet. She seems confused the first few times, but soon realizes you're addressing her and gets used to the nickname. Nice job. <laughs> burb. <laughs> and Weiss, I have only one thing to say, burb. Well, I have other things to say. Oh, and the bird, 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 bird is the word. Oh, and a bird, 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 bird is the word. <laughs> uh, the amount of crackers she eats is truly amazing. You read somewhere that too many carbs are bad for birds, but in the interest of keeping your fingers attached, you don't try to stop her. Sorry. <laughs> Better keep the TV off from now on. After watching an expose on Mothman, Nightingale is convinced she can be a far more terrifying and successful cryptid. Uh, Vogelis das Wort. I don't know that, Enweiss? Yeah. It's a good idea to be on your best behavior and watch what you say around her. If you offend her, she'll fly out of reach and shout at you. Bird is the word, okay. Can she even talk or she just make noises? Nope, she is one of the monster girls. That means she just makes noises. Uh... So Jell, the original monster girl, she also just makes noises. Same thing with Quill Zone. The Samurai Pizza Cats reference. And Bonchovi, our siren slash mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. She's even clearly saying that from inside of a fish tank. Yeah. And Spectrum, yeah. our centaur. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Back to Nightingale. Oh. Let's toss you some. Uh... Oh, whoops. Didn't go far enough. <laughs> there we go. Let's toss her some earrings. Toy, toy, toy. She taps it with her foot. It makes a sound. Trilling. She taps it repeatedly. Best gifts are noisiest gifts. Ha <laughs> ha. Shiny things catch her attention. Tin foil, nails, glass, rocks, a knife. Oh no! Drop that, you en entitled goose. <laughs> Uh, she's definitely, uh, untitled goose game quality. Uh, for anyone that's a Gundam fan, though, look up Untitled Tall Goose Game by, uh, NCH Productions. Oh, it's good. 
catching you looking at her in the sunshine. She spreads her wings so you can better admire her plumage. Yeah, with hair that color in the sun, it'll definitely glow. Untitled Tall Goose? Yup. <laughs> A reference, obviously, to the uh, Tall Geese mobile suit from Gundam Wing, as well as Untitled Goose Game. Pretty bird. Oh, she said pretty bird. She's not being given the attention she needs, so she causes problems on purpose. That short-tailed pygmy tyrant! Pretty bird. Hello? You bought a lot of fruit in an attempt to win more favor with your danger bird. It's going well until the kiwis. Apparently, kiwis are friends, not food. It's not worth it to argue. <laughs> she got confused. She thought the kiwis were kiwis. Uh, quick search, not turning up untitled Tall Goose game. Uh, look, look it up on uh, YouTube if you can. Hello? Hello? Alright, I think that's everything here at the uh, frenemy level. <laughs> Tilting her head to one side and then the other, she watches you approach with caution. She allows you to reach out and touch her feathers. Calling her uh, pretty bird seems to have helped. Beep, 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 beep. Here we get diamonds. Sing to the sky, sing to the flowers, sing to the food, sing to some garbage, shriek at you! Her priorities are clearly in check. <laughs> Talk. She wiggles down across from you, chirping and looking at you like you are her whole world. When you realize there's a bag of sunflower seeds behind you, it suddenly makes more sense. Hello? Already did that, poke. You overhear her making coo sounds. We already had that. Talk. She wiggles down across from you, chirping and looking at you like you are her whole world. When you realize there's a bag of sunflower seeds. Hello? Yes. Pretty bird. Hello? Pee -pee -pee? As a joke, you edit a picture of yourself ducking out of the way of five CGI copies of her. You think it's a cult classic work of art. She seems to be a little threatened by it. Yeah, uh, okay, if you just search YouTube for The Untitled Tall Goose, it, it gets you to the right place. It's the first link. All right, let's give her some of those seeds she was looking at. <laughs> she taps it with her foot, makes a sound, a trilling she taps it repeatedly. Best gifts are noisiest gifts. Nah. <laughs> Catching you looking at her in the sunshine. She spreads rings, already had that. Hello? Okay, well, I think we got everything at the acquaintance level, so let's give her the photos. Reaching out with her foot, she places it on you. Tap, touch, grab! You dare not move. One, this is an honor. Two, she could probably rip your arm right off. Okay, she is a freckly girl. Look at all of those freckles. Also, sadly, look at those harpy feet. Ugh, so lame. Ruining a perfectly good girl by giving her uh, bird feet. Okay. Because of rising postal costs, you give her a parcel to deliver to a friend of yours. She takes it gingerly in her talents. Here comes the cutest mail carrier. Better watch out. And my says, well, that was certainly a thing. Oh yeah, good video. I I enjoyed it, but obviously uh, you need to know what the tall goose is. Nah, she a chicken. Please do not give a goose a heavy cannon. No, do not give a dober gun to a, uh, to a goose. It causes problems. How would you even fly with those wings? <laughs> Uh, you probably wouldn't, unless she's got magic that lets her do it. Anyways, geese are hate birds that hate. That is correct. Uh, but what people don't know, there is a reason why uh, Canadians are so nice. See, what they did is they took all of the hatred 
that the Canadians naturally have in their in their uh, in their bodies, they took it out and they put it into geese, and that is that's why uh, Canada geese are such hateful, evil birds, physical embodiments of hate. <laughs> That's my theory on geese. All right, Moonlight Stroll. <laughs> Cute. To get from place to place, walking is the most ineffective route for birds. She expects you to feel special that she endured all the waddling and hopping just to spend time with you. I do appreciate it, Nightingale. <laughs> she isn't paying attention to you. Now's your chance for some payback. You flick an acorn at her and it bounces off her head. She wakes up with a start. The sky is falling! Satan says Canada geese should chill out a little on the hate and malice. It's just making them look bad. <laughs> uh, when Satan's telling you to take a chill pill, you know it's bad. A magpie visits Nightingale in the backyard. It tries to recite the telltale heart to her from memory. It's a strange but interesting friendship. She finds a skateboard in the yard. She dons her shutter sunglasses and gets on. She does a sick kick flick. A sick kick flip. That was a great skate. For a bird. Beep, beep, beep. There are suddenly a lot of marbles on your table. Nightingale won't say where she found them, but insists they're all for you. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> you call her stinky. You call her lemon. You call her chicken. You call her baby. Even when you call her all these things that are not her name, she perks up just because you call her. Aww. I always find it funny that two of the traditional demons of the seven sins are Satan and Lucifer. Traditional demons of the seven sins are Satan and Lucifer. Okay. Have a present. <laughs> you ask her if she knows what to do with this. She puffs out her chest and puts it on her head. <laughs> yeah, she definitely doesn't know what to do with pictures, with presents. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> that? Oh, maybe she likes chocolate puffed wheat squares. You give her one and she starts zooming around. She's really going cuckoo for these puffed squares. <laughs> Just going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Those noises are killing you. Sorry, tomato. <laughs> we'll hopefully be done with her soon. Ish. Let's give her some glasses and get out of the friend zone. That one annoying song gets stuck in your head again, and you find yourself whistling it. Proving to be a fast learner, Nightingale whistles it with you. You like the song a lot better now, which is good, because you no longer have a choice but to hear it all the time. Pride, Lucifer, Envy, Leviathan, Lame, Wrath, Satan, Sloth, Belphegor, Greed, Mammon, Gluttony, Beelzebub, Lust, Asmodeus. Oh, okay, cool. I have a diamond. When you walk by, she whistles a cat call at you. Do all birds just come with that pre-installed? Maybe you should be offended, but... It's also kind of flattering. You see why I say lame, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's... You have the same guy twice. And it, it, technically, Lucifer isn't even a demon. That was his name before he fell. Alright, let's go to the beach. What? She caught a She caught a fish! Good bird! Pretty bird! Bro memorized the Bible. Also Leviathan. Yes, Leviathan is lame. It doesn't match Envy in the slightest. Nightingale had a blast at the beach. She, se she seems proud she managed to splash everyone sitting on the shore. Yeah. One of her feathers sheds. You pick it up and put it on her head. She's fancy and delighted. Here, have a single collar. <laughs> Multi-billion dollar collar. And she put the collar on her head. That's almost the right place. Right, let's keep flirting. You tell her she looks delicious. There's a moment of silence and she hands you an egg. 
useful birds don't get eaten. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's board game night. Snacks and ladders seemed like a good choice, but Nightingale insists on attacking all the cartoon snacks. Dif difficulty mode. Insanity. Standing on one leg with your head in her with your head in your armpit is not a stable way to sleep. This is confirmed when Nightingale loses her balance and falls. Again. Awkward. Don't step on snack. <laughs> uh, there's a picture of uh, uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary stepping on the uh, snake from the Gadsden flag saying, uh, I'll tread where I please. Or something along those lines. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's give her some more collars. When she can't see you, she flies around the house and squawks like a fire alarm. Squawk, squawk, squawk. <laughs> Running out of things to try to make her stop, you squawk back. This seems to please her and she chirps happily. Was, was that all it took? <laughs> Have a diamond. All right. Nightingale uses her magic wind powers to ruffle your hair. Beware the mighty harpy. Oh, let's go sightseeing. Is she eating a worm? Ew, she's eating a worm. Usually this park is full of beautiful songbirds and pigeons. For some reason today, not a single other bird sound can be heard. Nightingale looks pleased as punch. Um... Uh... That's not a... No. Definitely a worm, not a not a songbird. She didn't eat it. She's a chicken, I knew it! <laughs> yes. She's a mega ultra chicken. Hello. She has seen people wearing feather boas and understands. This is the height of fashion. Not wanting you to feel underdressed, she drapes her wings over you when you're out together. Aw, what an adorable burb. Meet me. Better move fast. Sounds like she wants you to catch her. Hello. Tui, tui. She wants to go bird watching. Anytime you go together, you're guaranteed to see at least two great tits. Brum. <laughs> tits are a type of bird. Hello. She stops for a moment and pretends to be a robot. You might regret telling her about the satirical conspiracies conspiracy theory that birds aren't real. That's wrong! That is a real conspiracy theory. Birds are not real! Okay, fine. It is a fake conspiracy theory. It is funny, though. <laughs> uh, so many of your jokes make her laugh uncontrollably. It's sweet that you can quack her up like that. Oh, but she's a chicken, not a duck. Meet me. All right, let's give her that uh, worm sandwich. I thought birds actually weren't real. Nah, they're not. She celebrates. She was not an early bird today, so she didn't think she'd get the worm. Uh, she got my night owl habits from me. Well, let's get the drum. Karaoke is her favorite activity. You make sure that music is playing from sunup to sundown. Oh, that would be horrible. I like music. I like singing along, but I also like quiet. She not only sings to the beat of the drum, but does a little dance to match. It's really cute when she shakes her tail feathers. Aw, oh, it's like she's shake, 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 shake your booty. Huh, what is she trying to say? Oh, she's blowing a kiss. Cute. Her face is covered in crumbs and muck. You notice too late and she wipes her face on you. Chirps happily and flies away. Gross! But also somehow endearing? Alright, let's go to the movie theater. You picked a movie based on the friendly looking cartoon birds in it. Turns out, it was a commentary about the illegal parrot trade. 
Nightingale wants to take action. Riyom! <laughs> Forward a bit. It's hard to believe that a creature supposed to be so strong and graceful is afraid of the vacuum cleaner. Yellow-bellied Tweety Bird. You run your fingers along her wings. They're so light, so beautiful, so well-designed. She doesn't even look up. She trusts you to treat her gently when she's vulnerable like this. Just imagine the voice actor's manager giving her the script she has to voice act. Oh, I am cracking up at the idea of whoever had to voice this. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, no, it doesn't show. That's okay. Hello! Bro. Birds are the last of the dinosaurs, small ver velociraptors with wings. You can see the similarities as she rips apart her jingle toys with her talons. Yeah. Hello. All right, I think that's everything. Let's gift you one vacuum. She celebrates. She was not an early bird today, so she didn't think she'd get the worm. It wasn't a worm, it was a vacuum. Alright, let's poke her. <laughs> the warble that she makes is seductive and sweet. She coos and encourages you to continue. Alright, have the rest of the vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Throwing her head back, she makes a sound like she's gagging. Looks like she's trying to feed you. Oh no! Yeah. Quickly, you put up your hands and loudly thank her before getting out of there. Inner species displays of love can be difficult to navigate. Yeah, they can! Yeah! That's why you don't do them. The learning curve of living with Nightingale may have been steep, but you are rewarded with her constant nuzzles in your neck. Aww. It's hard to believe that a creature... Yeah. Already had that. She leans into your touch as you cup her cheek. Her eyes flutter shut. She's so comfortable with you, she coos gently. Uh, she's a pigeon now, not a chicken. <laughs> Through long eyelashes, she chirps at you. You hope it's clear she's trying to talk birdie at you. Bro. 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 Peep, peep, peep. All right, well, that seems to be everything. Let's go ahead and give her some lipstick. <laughs> she parades around with it. Anything that comes near it or tries to touch it gets hissed at. Including walls, plants, furniture, and the stairs. Maybe she should watch where she's going. Poke! Alright, and let's give her that wilted bouquet. She investigates every little mark, crumb, and blemish on your skin. The ones that are natural that are naturally there, she kisses gently. The ones that aren't. She flicks off you with the intensity of a drill sergeant. Take pride in your appearance! Hurry. Getting ready to fly! In position! She dances seductively and you join her. Mating rituals can be complicated, but at least this one translate well between you. Cool. <laughs> okay. I want to take a quick peek at the store, only on the phone side. Phone flings, we got everything unlocked that we can, except for Lotus, but we need to spend money on that. Value bundle, we need to spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money, spend money. Regular bundles. I guess I may as well spend the uh, diamonds, I don't have anything better to spend them on. Actually, let me check. Texts. Yeah. Everything there has been spent. Oh, yes. Let's hop over uh, to here. Grab some uh, hobby skip and grab a diamond. Cool. Mating, huh? There's no law against chicken, barman. Uh, unless you watched uh, <laughs> uh, South Park. There's an entire episode devoted to the chicken fucker. Yeah, it's odd. Very odd. 
Uh, but yeah, we, uh, oh yeah, I do want to go to the store. I do want to buy the fully voiced bundle, English only. Yes, I'll spend the diamonds. I'll download that later. And we can buy the wedding dress bundle later. Uniform bundle later. And holiday outfit bundle also download later. <laughs> So, her, she's maxed out? Yes, she is. She is at Lover. And since she's at Lover, let's see if... Yes, we got her animated pose. <laughs> We're gonna stick to animated pose regardless because it is prettier. It's just her regular outfit, but... Mo mobile. Moving. It's nice. Animated. Okay, well, we are uh, almost at 31 minutes, so I think it's a perfect time to wrap up this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe. Check me out on Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, and Kick. I will see you guys in the next part. Bye now. <laughs>